in its many subtle phases, is the predominant feeling within mankind today, and is the wide open door through which the sin to force holds its control in the personality and does its destructive work. The teaching that it is necessary to eat meat in order to obtain strength is vicious and entirely untrue. For the elephant, one of the strongest creatures on our earth, is a non-meat-eating animal. The idea that serums made from animals can produce health and perfection or protection against disease in a clean child's body or that of an adult is another consciously directed activity of the senator force in this world in order to break down the health and resistance in the race that the destructive feelings may hold sway and destroy the ideals of mankind. The medical profession has been unknowingly made a cat's paw for this destruction under the guise of science. It is only because of the persistent stubbornness in the sense appetites which are feelings in the human body that the race keeps using its marvelous mental capacity and the wonderful pure energy from the mighty I am presence to create more and more destruction. When human beings will spend the same amount of time and energy studying perfection and the wonderful miracles of creation that face us everywhere as they do now in gratifying the physical appetites and whims of the personal self, they too will produce the same miracles that the ascended masters are able to do. However, before fifty years are past, mankind will look back upon the meat-eating habit of today as we now look upon cannibalism. There are several things that leave a substance in the brain which must be cleared away if the full perfection from the mighty I am presence is to be released through the personal consciousness. These are in the order of their importance. Narcotics, alcohol, meat, tobacco, excess sugar, salt, and strong coffee. Now, we come to the remedy for these things. For I will never point your attention to any consideration of imperfection without showing you the way to transcend it and replace it by perfection brought about harmoniously. I want you to realize always that whatever needs to be changed in the physical experience, if you will call your mighty I am presence into action through your mind and body, the result will always be produced without suffering or discord of any kind. The way of perfection, which is the activity of the I am presence, never demands of the personal self anything but the letting go of its chains, its discords, its limitations, and its sufferings. And this change is always brought about harmoniously, and through divine love. The way to purify the brain and body structure, if the personality has been putting these substances into the physical body in the past, is to call to your mighty I am presence to pour through your mind and body its violent consuming flame using the following affirmation. Mighty I am presence, blaze through me thy consuming flame of divine love. Take this desire out of me annihilate its cause and effect past, present, and future, and replace it by the fullness of yourself, your perfect satisfaction, and hold your full dominion here forever. This same affirmation can be used for another with the same miraculous and permanent accomplishment. Then spend a few moments, at least three times a day, visualizing yourself standing within a pillar of violet flame rushing from the feet to some distance above the head and extending for at least three feet on each side of around the body. Hold this picture as long as you can comfortably do so and feel the flame which is the purifying power of divine love penetrating every cell of your body. This dissolves all impure and unnecessary substances in the cells of the body, thus clearing and illumining the consciousness. This is part of the knowledge of the sacred fire which has only been taught in the retreats of the great white brotherhood throughout the centuries. It is the way the ascended masters purify, heal, and harmonize mankind and the very earth itself. It is the power by which so-called miracles are performed. It can never have any other effect in either the brain, body, or affairs but great ease, comfort, peace, and eternal good.